Let me, let me help you. Don't touch me. Please. Don't touch me. Let her help you. I don't need her. I don't need her. Please, let, let's, let's help you. Stop it. Stop it. Let's help you. Thank God it didn't affect the most important part of your organs. And doctor said in no time soon, you'll be fine. I don't need your help. Please. Get your hands off me. You shot me so you could help. I didn't shoot you, mom. It was a stray bullet. Yes. The lie you told the police. I'm ashamed of your truth. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. See what I'm telling you now. Don't let us help you, you won't listen. Okay, let's just help you. No. Okay. Wait, 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 my leg. My leg, my leg. It's okay. Oh. Sorry. Don't touch me. Sorry, sorry. Where are you going? School. I need to check out my continuous assessments and other stuff. Exam is around the corner. It's okay. Don't be late. Hold on. Jackson has already taken care of the, the mess you created. And next time you pull a gun at me, I will forget you are my only daughter. Okay? Alright. Take care. My dear, how are you? Oh, sweet darling. How are you? You okay? Come on, smile up. Waiting on? Don't you play dumb with me. How did it start? Not on your life! In my house! You don't want to hear my story. Because this is the only way I can tell my story with the stick. Obviously, there are many other sides of you you want to show me. to you to know that you are a gun runner and now you just display how wayward you are with this stick my lifestyle is not a secret mom maybe you weren't just observant enough to notice or you could say that i was blinded by my love for you 
Was I wrong? Was, was I wrong with the love and trust for you? How could you? How could you drop the good morals and teachings I gave you to pick that of your fathers? You broke my heart, you. I am so sorry, Mom. But it's rather too late. I can't do anything. You can do something. Turn a new leaf. Drop the gun. Pick the Bible. Get born again. And all things will be passed away. It's not that easy, Mom. Once you're in, you're in. That too will be soon. to have a gun runner and a drug pusher for a child. Me! Glow, you need to understand that the society is hard and tough. And I've always prayed for God to give me one. A child who will match, who will be able to match and stand the society. And luckily, God gave me one. God did not give you one. You created that out of her. Stop calling God in what you created. Okay. What would you say about her love for gangsters and war movies? It's not true. You'll be okay. Okay, 
take a seat opposite Jason. So, do you know I'm Kim and this is my colleague Mike? Hi. Uh, we've been asked to facilitate today. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for taking part in the restorative justice process. Oh, come on, child. She was only a child. She don't know what is wrong or right. Who is it? How are you? Fine, sir. I heard you're looking for you. What's your problem? Okay. Sir, I just want to ask. What is the reason for all this practicing of God? This is the reason of God. What is the purpose of God? It's just for your personal protection and nothing else. You understand? You know we have a lot of killing, kidnapping now in this town. So your father wanted to do that, just learn how to protect yourself. In case if anything happens and we are not there to protect you. So that you'll be able to, you know, protect yourself. Nothing. Nothing else. So that is why you need to pay attention when we are teaching. Okay? Thank you. 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 Okay? Teaching her and preparing her for inheritance is the right thing to do. Please. I need a drink. Oh my God. How did I end up with this man? Girl, you see this face? I swear things at the wedding tomorrow. <laughs> you want to catch Maga? Hmm? I saw friends is getting married and married on the entire your eyes. Marriage, kid. Yeah. Count me out, though. I'm not to carry all this my for as enter one my house. You see, I've checked out. You can't stick to one thing. You like to detest different sizes. Ah. Take a break, though, so that you can set to them. Set to fire. See. I was thinking of making of retouching first, then make a flow or any other style. No, it's not good to it's not good to retouch it and fix it immediately. Okay. If I fix you now after retouching, it will make the hair weak. So it will be breaking. Okay, okay. just do me anything good, sweet. As I was saying, see this marriage matter. Most married men are looking for a way to come out. But they're very few people who talk. I see me. I don't trade my food for anything else in this life. And so if they talk, you said I want to be there too. Me? God forbid. See, most of these women are clothed they never recover everything. Ha. Especially the ones in big houses and the so called rich ones. If you see what's in the eye, you see. Yeah, no fear. Sorry. Is there anything you want to talk to me about my family? Please tell me. Excuse me? Yeah. Ah. Stop beating around the bush and talk to me directly. Oh, I see. Talking about your family. I don't know you or your family. See me, you. Plus, plus, I think it's, it's a collective statement. And what do you mean by that? No, madam. She was not referring to you. We're discussing about marriage and life and its ups and downs before you stepped in. 
maybe she might be saying what you are facing in your marriage, but of a truth, we are not talking about you. Okay. She's the reality of our affairs and assumptions stories. Hmm? Exactly. Hey, yeah. Uh, you don't know this. Please come make my enemy get out of here. daughter bond to relate your day-to-day -day activities to me. We talked. How come you never do? Yes. I have a bond with you. Also with dad. To him, I'm not to relate any activities with him to anyone. Even you. He made me swear with my life. also maybe I'm not the only one with the secret here I will not ask again then where was he taking you for true There's nothing in, in all this. Thousands of us have been here. Even with many other wayward things. It profit nothing. Nothing. Just a shame that your father have decided to die in all this wayward life. Instead of dying, what do you see? I will make sure he do not take you to hell. Oh. I 
will take you to wherever you want. I will buy you all the things you like. Oh, girl. Hello, Dad. I told Jackson to deliver. Mom won't allow me to go out. So when you told Mommy's girl? She's by the door. And she offered to take me anywhere I'm going to. How can I deliver under that condition? Call Jackson to know where he is. I told him what to do. Trying to. You do not have the will for it. No matter the hatred you have for me, your love supersedes all. Hmm? Okay. Why me? You are my adorable, always submissive, perfect wife. Why me? I'm of all the ladies in the congregation, then why me? Because you're my soulmate. Hot and cool. Godly and ungodly. That aside, why have you not been going to your shop? I passed by today and your girls told me they've not seen you for weeks. I have better things to do at home than that shop. That is? My home. My family. My home, my family, my number one and primary assignment. For everything that has gone wrong under my nose, need to be fixed by But nothing has gone wrong down. In your eyes. I need to sleep. Sleep? I need to some sugar, baby. You can't sleep. Not until I am your number one concern. You need me to take care of you before sleeping. You're playing Play with you is all I need at this moment. Come on, baby. Ah. Daddy has this. Okay, now you stay calm no matter what. Where is she? How did you get this? I was back out there calling your phone. You were busy cutting my calls and texting a lie that you were still in the examination hall only to go in there and be told that you finished your paper since one day. That is because I wanted to surprise you with something yummy this evening. Are you serious? Did I ask you? Glow, please calm down. She's only trying to be the good daughter that you want. Chooks. Chooks! If you try to frustrate my efforts in trying to bring up our only daughter in the way I want her to, I will not hesitate to report your evil deeds to the police and have you locked up for her. Do not try me! Do not! I like it when she's angry. She looks more beautiful. I think I told you how to things. Now we do all the I call this meeting because there's going to be a little change in our operation. Jackson will take the operation off. Love it. Now, 
because our always on point deliverer, Miss Lovett, is under serious surveillance, and that is not good for business. And then she can go for break after tomorrow operation. And there should be no mistakes because this man has been in us for a long time. And I want him silent. Silent. Mr. Claire. Do you have another thing? There is nothing to worry about, boss. Love it to be very fine. That I can assure you. Okay. That's okay. Love it. Sir. It's Antin Jackson. Brandy will be fine for me. Thank you. Have a great one. At the early hours of today, police found the body of Mr. Gossin, who was declared missing five days ago. During the investigation in search of Mr. Gustin, the daughter stated that the father followed some preachers who came to their house for evangelism. She added that these so-called preachers were neither with Bible, but only phone. The question here is, are they really preachers or kidnappers? Or is it that the disease is into any kind of shady deals that the police is trying to figure out here? Like always, may his soul Rest in peace. Stay tuned for more updates. He has returned home to meet his heavenly father. Good job, my dear. Let him snitch in hell. Please, get me a champagne to that. Let me toast, my dear. Yes. I'm Thank right. you. Goodbye, Mr. Godson. Rotten hell. Papa, baby. Thank you so much. You are really doing well these days and I appreciate you. But I didn't quite like the way you stumbled out of church today while I was trying to introduce you to my pastor. Glow. It's okay. It's not everyone that wants to make an acquaintance with a pastor. As you already said, she's doing well. Let's leave it at that. Shooks, can you please let's have one positive voice in raising up our daughter? Raising up a full-grown woman who is above 18 years of age? But she is still our daughter. Please! Can I enjoy my evening? Calm down. Everything will be alright. Still dressing up? I was already dressed since waiting for you. Today's your last paper, right? Yes. You can go about your business after all. Mm -mm. Anywhere I go, we go together. Mom? Mm. I'm an adult, not a child. I'm, I'm a baby. I know that. See, you will always be my baby. Soon, suit us will start coming. At the moment, let's enjoy. Mother and daughter company together. I'm not even thinking about marriage now. I'm still too young for that. I know. I know, but someday it will happen. Before then, let's enjoy our moment. We can go now.
A home where there's no crime, there is crisis. Come to your home with goodness. Jackson, you are 10 minutes late. Don't worry, I have everything under control. Let's go. Wait, wait, my mom is packed somewhere there. Just bring, just bring, just bring, just bring. Home where there's no Christ, there is crisis. Call him to your home where we have no sins. He's a passing of understanding. You will find yourself standing, standing strong. Why is he calling? <sighs> Hello, honey. Glow, where are you? Love at school, waiting for her to finish her papers. Please leave there right now and get back home. Is anything the matter? What is wrong? Everything is fine. I need you back home now. Honey, come on. Let me wait for her to finish so I can bring her. We'll start coming together. We'll be there in no time, please. Glow, she has been arrested. I need you back here ASAP. What? No, no, no. She, 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 she. She's in the school. I'm, I'm, I'm back in front of her school. What are you saying? What are you saying? Good day, Inspector Jide. Thank you for this favor. I'm highly grateful. And I still have your bank details. I'll get across to you ASAP. Nice having you here. No more. I am done. It's okay, my dear. There's nothing your dad cannot handle. Right? Fine. So, go up and freshen up. Come on. Go freshen up. It's time to pay Inspector G Day. Christ, because the day it's our point, I would deny you. You're gonna 
watch me take my bath. Stop it! No! I don't like it when you say stop it, make me want to do some stop. more. Come on, come on, you're going Stop this! <laughs> oh no! You're stop. great for doing this right now. No! Glow, glow. You enjoyed me last night, right? Good job. Ah, stop it. <laughs> Look at that. You like the way I did it? Eh? And I'll give you a better one tonight. Eh? You like to fall? <laughs> As if you don't like the thing. See? See, I don't like doing it too. You don't like the way I was doing it? Stop! <laughs> Where are you going? I'm leaving this house. What? Why? To where? I can't keep staying here. It's obvious mom is not comfortable with me around anymore. She doesn't even talk to me. After so many attempts in apologizing to her, she's still not listening. She probably hates me now. So don't try to solve anything. I'm leaving. Are you looking at her? Does she listen? Does she ever listen to me? He says she has enough money to pay for wherever she's going. Stay comfortably? Or are you not paying her for the job you are signed out to? See, can you listen to yourself? Oh, please. My head needs some quietness. Ah. What? What is this? How are you, my daughter? Hmm. Human thoughts, I understand. When God is walking behind the scene, it's taking time. But in the spiritual realm, he has done it. And I know he's going to perfect it in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. I would like you to come and see me tomorrow. I need I need to discuss something with you. I'll be expecting you. Bye. Okay, bye. Mm. Thank you so much, mommy. I appreciate you. You are really doing well for me and my family. I appreciate you, mom. Amen. What are you doing here? Would you prefer to see her at the club? Mommy, she ran here for safety. That is my recording. <laughs> she is now a burn again Christian. God has done it. Hmm. Born again. I'm sorry for all the mm. troubles I caused you, Mom. While in cell, I had several dreams. Seeing myself in horrible places. Seeing you reaching out to help me. And in so many encounters. I told Bishop about it already. I know you want the best for me. And I'm willing and ready to be the good child you've always desired. Oh. But that's exactly my point. He knows you love him. I would accept him for whatever he does. That is why he has refused to change. What exactly are you getting at? To get daddy to change, you have to change a little. Don't we Christians believe that faith without works is dead? Of course. You want him to change, right? Yes. Then you have to do something. Do something like what? Besides, why are you saying all these things? Because I want to see your dream come true. 
You have lived for this. You have fought for this. And you are still fighting it in prayer. It's time to add a little action. It's like you knew a lot. And you already laid out a plan for me. What exactly do you want me to do? Tell me. Look, I can't stand this anymore. What exactly do you want me to do to get you back home? Quit your dirty dealings. Is that all? Get born again. Be clean from your sins. Live a good life for Christ and for yourself too. Please ma'am, talk to your daughter. She's starting the impossible. Oh, stop this. Do you think it's easy for me as a sinner to believe all that you said? It sounds weird. <laughs> Leave the way path for God. Take the necessary steps. Receive Christ. Confess Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Get baptized and the angel of heaven will write your name in the book of life. Are you saying that my name is not written in the book of life already? Quit playing. I am not playing. I just want to be cleared. When you said that I've been baptized, that all my sins will be wiped away by dunking my head into tap water. And you call all that, that all my sins will be washed away? Just like that? Yes, it's as simple as that. You die in Christ and you rise in baptism. I'll think about it. I thought you stylishly left the house just to be completely free from your mother's interference into your lifestyle only to find you in Bishop home. Mom has longed for change and I think it's time for that. What change? A complete godly home free from wayward and risky lifestyle. A home of total peace and oneness. We have that already. You? That's not true. You and mom are completely opposite in nature. Okay, that's not why I called you here. The guy is coming to town tomorrow. With stolen money, dollars. And I want us to take it. Come on, dad. Not after all the preaching from Bishop, Esther and mom. Stealing is a sin. And I'm repentant from it now. We didn't steal. Taking it from those who stole is not the same, my dear. We've done nothing. I'm not doing that again, Dad. When I was in cell, I had deep reflection. And I'm still too young to waste my life. What do we need more operation for? You've made so much money. Just quit and enjoy your money. Good thought, my dear, but wrong perception. Listen, whatever you do to make money, you need to keep doing it or else one day you're going to go zero. Then invest in other business to sustain. Enough of this. Get ready for tomorrow operation. That's all. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not going. I'm having my baptism tomorrow. I'm a new creature with a new mindset. Good luck. Listen. Don't dare me! Love it! Look at this girl. What?
right in here. Who's gone? For Chuck's lies. This is me doing marriage. It is not everything our high seas in marriage that our mouth can speak of. I like the fight you put to make this marriage work. You tried. <laughs> and now, now that I have put on the fight to enjoy the kind of marriage I so desire. That's not you for me. <sighs> Glory, don't feel bad. You did the right thing, even though it did not come out as expected. And you, you should have told me earlier. I, I wasn't thinking straight. How long was she hoping to hide it from me? How? Well, I did it! So, Chooks is gone. Chooks is gone just like that! Calm down, baby. Calm down, please. Calm down. <laughs> How can I live without you? Tell me! Chooks was practically my breath. <laughs> Do not feel bad. That is inevitable. He should be grateful he gave his life to Christ before dying. <sighs> how can I live without him? How? Tell me how. <laughs> 